Modern players are fully erect for the new Hajmala Bridgevine deck, and for a good reason. In the most recent Modern Challenge tournament, a whopping 10 out of the best 32 finishing decks were Hajmala Bridgevine decks. From these results alone, it would appear that the new Modern Horizons cards have broken Modern. But is that really the case? Is Hajmala Bridgevine too powerful for Modern? That's what we're gonna find out. First of all, let's look at Hajmala. It costs 7, but we can't use mana to cast it. Instead, we use Convoke and Delve to put Hajmala into play, either from hand or graveyard. And as an added bonus, it has Trample. The card certainly seems busted because to put out Hajmala, we just need two creatures in play plus five cards in graveyard. So in this deck here, we can get Hajmala out by turn two. And that's pretty gangster. On top of that, if Hajmala dies, we can still recast it from graveyard. And if our opponent tries to path to exile it, we could just sacrifice it in response with Carrion Feeder or Altar of Dementia. Altar of Dementia is a new card that says sacrifice a creature, then mill equal to its power. This can put a lot of cards in the graveyard really quickly at instant speed. And there are times where this card can mill almost our whole deck. But yet another new card we have for sacrificing stuff is Carrion Feeder. It says sacrifice as a creature, then put a wall encounter on feeder. This card is essentially an upgraded Viscera Seer that happens to be a zombie. And why is that so important? Because we have Gravecrawler. Gravecrawler can be repeatedly cast from graveyard as long as we control a zombie. And that's where feeder comes into play because it is a zombie. Speaking of zombies, we have Stitcher Supplier. When it comes into play, we mill three, and when it dies, we also mill three. It's very good. And ideally, we'll hit cards like Bridge from Below. When Bridge from Below is in graveyard, whenever a non token creature of ours dies, we make a 2 2 black zombie creature. And if we have multiple bridges in graveyard, each one makes a zombie. The downside to Bridge is if one of our opponent's creatures dies, Bridge from Below gets exiled. So to prevent this from happening, I've main deck three Leyline of the Voids. It flat out prevents cards from going to our opponent's graveyard, so Bridge from Below won't get exiled. As a side note, a card that works really well with Bridge is Neonate. Neonate lets us discard and sack, and if we use it with Bridge, we immediately get a 2-2 zombie. As for the rest of the deck, we have Looting, Bloodgast, and Vengevine, which if it's in graveyard, and we cast two creature spells in the same turn, it returns from graveyard to play, which is why Gravecrawler is so good, because we can play it, sack it, and then play it again in the same turn. But now on the sideboard. Most of our sideboard is geared for dealing with graveyard hate. And we have this new card here, Shenanigans, which destroys an artifact but also has Dredge 1, meaning that when it's in graveyard, we can put it in the hand instead of drawing. And that is Muy Grande. As for more artifact hate, we have Chewer. For one red, we evoke, which means we put into play but then sack it immediately, which happens to work with both Bridge and Vengevine. And because the deck is splashing green, we also have Nature's Claim, which destroys an artifact or enchantment. But even better, we have four Assassin's Trophy. For two mana, it takes out any permanent. Most importantly, it takes out Leyline. And even if our opponent does not draw their graveyard hate, we can still use Trophy on all their other permanents. And wrapping things up, we have three Thoughtseize, which can hit anti-graveyard spells like Surgical, and it also just hurts combo decks in general. And for creature removal, we have Lightning Axe, as well as Necrotic Wound, which exiles that creature. That is the deck, let's get to the gameplay, but first, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, a lot of the same cards, but we could pitch most of these away, so we'll keep it. Plus, Leyline is pretty gangster, starting with looting, and ooh, nice. Back to our opponent, and it looks like it's elves. Back in our turn, looting, meh. But this will do, because watch this. Supplier, and Boom. But we shall go with looting, dumping these two, casting Gravecrawler from graveyard, and then swing with everyone. Opponent blocks like that, which is strange because the bridge is in graveyard, and you think they want to trade that to remove the bridge. And we'll finish up with that. Back to our opponent. Opponent plays Heritage Druid into Elvish Arch Druid into Finale of Devastation. Hmm. Cool, but that's not going to cut it because watch this. Sack, make two tokens, and sack again. And then back on our turn, we get a land. Bloodgast comes back with haste, then Gravecrawler, sack, replay Gravecrawler, sack, but then wait for it, Gravecrawler, and sack. This feels like fair magic to me. Swing with everyone. And there's the game. So we're going to game two. Going into game two, I'm going to dump all this for all this. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, not enough fuel. So we're going to mull. This is also pretty bad. So we'll mull. And we'll try and keep this. No lander. Oh boy. Oh, no land again. Oh, look, there's a land. Cool. So we start a supplier. Grave color and bridge. But it's going to be really tough to win at this point. So maybe the goal of this game is just to see what the sideboard cards are. Oh boy. Yes, yeah, a lost cause at this point. So we're going to game three. Dump a grave color and one ley line. Four, two thought season with that. Let's go to game three. Opening hand, no. Nothing special. So I suppose we mole. And yeah, this is much, much better. Starting with supplier. Whiff on that and pass back. Lanoir. And back on our turn, let's do this. Neonate. Sack. And then feeder. Sacking this. Mostly lands, but we can play this. Cool. Back to our opponent. But they could have dismember to kill this. Oh, wait. Just kidding. Dismember doesn't kill that. Gravecrawler. Sack the feeder. And then Gravecrawler. Sack the feeder. And swing for a totally fair amount. Opponent goes to four. Back to them. Nettle. Clan caller. Back on our turn, let's try Faithless Looting. Meh. Feeder, I suppose. And swing with everyone. Oh no, guys. They're going to kill the Hoggalaw. I think we might be in trouble. Damage goes through down to two. The Hoggalaw dying makes a token. Bridge goes away and then we'll do this. Recast Hoggalaw triggering Vengevine. And who says modern isn't fair? And there's the concede. I mean, pretty close match but you know, we pull through in the end. But now on to the next one. Opening hand looks really, really good so we're gonna keep it. Darks looks sure so they mull down the five. Okay. We shall kick things off with Faithless Looting. Dumping Vengevine and Bridge. And then pass back. Opponent passes back and we'll play the Supplier. Putting a whole lot of nothing in Graveyard. And now Neon 
neonate to get back the venge vine. Oh, and main deck surgical. Somebody understands the current state of modern, but they target the bridge. All right. So in that case, instead of attacking, we'll just do this. Okay. Seems pretty good to me. Oh, ensnaring bridge. Dang, they really did come prepared. But with the bridges in exile, I think they have us. So it looks like we're going to game two. Go on to the game two and dump a lot of stuff so that we have less than four copies of a lot of cards in case they get hit by surgical. And instead, we're bringing in all the anti cyborg stuff. And with that, let's go to game two. Opening hand, I like it. So we'll keep. Start off with supplier, a bridge, and nature's claim. Now let's see what our opponent can do. And they pass back. I imagine they have surgical. Basically, surgical. They take the bridge, but we only have three of them left. And then we shall play Karen Peter, sacking the supplier. We hit a Hoshmogal off. So we'll do this. Grave crawler and bring in the big boy. Back our opponent. Oh, and it's mill. I guess that explains why there's so much anti graveyard stuff main deck. But no matter, we shall queef on them hard. Swing with everyone. Blocks like that. Sack and then recast from graveyard. And might as well play a neonate. Back to our opponent. Shield lock aisle. But then they concede. So game three it is. Opening hands and nope. So we're going to mull. And yes, this will do. Field the run. And start off with looting. Dumping this and this. And back to our opponent. Opponent passes back. Another Venge Vine. Ooh. I, yeah. In that case, we might as well looting. Dumping that and that. But then back to our opponent. And they pass back to us. Back on our turn. Let's go for it. Supplier. Nothing. Then feeder. Where them surgicals? Crypt incursion. Okay. That's fine. We'll then sack the supplier. Nothing. Play a neonate and pass back. And then they go back to us. We gotta try and hit a second creature here. So we'll sack neonate. And what do you know? Oh no. They know what we're up to. Fine. Back to our opponent. And they hit us with Field of Ruin. That was our last basic. Ashiok. Which exiles our graveyard. Oh boy. I think they got us. We'll play another feeder. Swing for one. Ashiok down to three. Back to them. And we'll for four again. Grave crawl. Let's do this. Play it. Sack. Which they surgical. And then swing at Ashiok. Ashiok goes to Jesus. Back to our opponent. Who then passes back to us. Cliss me. Swing for three. Back to them. Back to us. This seems familiar. Swing for three. Back to them. Back to us. Swing for three. And we'll hold off on this in case they have a bridge. Another Hoggalaw. Swing for three. I'm sure they're just waiting until they have lethal in hand with the mill. A field of ruin. Archive trap. Archive trap. Four lethal. There's the match. So it turns out Hoggalaw can be defeated. So long as you have Surgical's main deck and Ensnaring Bridge main deck and Extirpate and Crypt Incursion and Ashiok. Opening hands really Really good, so we're gonna keep it. Ah, oh, well, that blows. There goes our faithless loading. Well, then pass back to our opponent. Meh, that's fine. There's not much to take anyway. They take the altar, but pass back. We can play the supplier of the altar. I think the smart play is to play the altar first and then pass back. Dark confidant, and then back on our turn. Let's do this supplier, bridge in the graveyard. Nice, then sack it, putting four cards in the graveyard, and then sack this. We have a Hajma law, and then blood gas, sacking the blood gas. So much good stuff in graveyard, but we'll pass back to our opponent. Scavenging ooze, but I doubt they have the mana for it this turn. Nah. Uh, opponent swings, no block. And then back on our turn. We'll bring back the grave crawler. Now get ready for this. Hajma Law. But then sack Hajma Law. Avenge Vine, but only one bridge. So we'll also sack the grave crawler. And with there, we'll also sack the zombie. And then another zombie. Hooray, another bridge. And then bring back grave crawler. Sacking the grave crawler. Bringing back the grave crawler. And then the Hajma Law. But wait, there is more. Sack the Hajma Law. Bring back the Hajma Law. Sacking the Hajma Law. Sacking the grave crawler. Oh, four bridges. How nice. And then bring back Hajma Law. And our opponent better hope they have a maelstrom pulse they kill their guy why didn't they just do that sooner uh, okay in no maelstrom pulse time for big boy fun time grave crawler grave crawler double venge vine and like my mama always says abre tus nalgas but now on the sideboard go on in the game two and dump all this for all this and with that let's go to game two opening hands really good as long as they don't have graveyard hate so we'll keep it thought sees taking the looting so we'll just play the feeder and pass back and a hill spell bomb okay so winning won't be that easy swing for one play the altar and and then pass back. Dark Confidant. And back on our turn. Let's do this. Faithless Looting. Dumping this and Feeder. Swing for one. And then pass back. Armagoy. They play it. Swings for two. And we'll swing with the Venge Vine. If they have instant speed, though, they could buff this out of range. But we gotta try it. Yeah, they do block. Oh, but they trade. All right. They should probably do the Hill now, maybe? Yeah, it seems about right. It'll land. And they go with Collective Brutality. In response, we'll mill for one. Nope. And Unearth on the Goyf. Cool. That's pretty gangster. Back on our turn. Supplier. Bridge. Sack the Supplier. Uh oh. I sense a Surge. Yep, that's Surgical. Fair enough. But we do hit a Venge Vine and Hogma Law. So play the feeder, get back Venge Vine, and then Neone, and then Hogma Law. And while we could sack it, I think it's a bit too risky without the bridges. So for now, we'll pass back. Grabs a forest. What is these? Oh, that's very tricky. Because if our stuff dies with that out, it gets exiled and they make tokens. So let's do stuff now. Sack this, and sack Venge Vine, another Hogma Law, and then passes back. Yep. So let's do this. Faith is looting. Oh boy. Another Faith is looting. Meh. And then swing for eight. They pretty much have to double block. Yeah. Killing that hoe. We're one away from lethal here. It's not looking too good. And a surgical, of course. Well, that will do it. We'll play the grave crawler, get back the Hajma Law and the Venge Vine. But if they surgical, yeah, I mean, no matter what we do, they're pushing lethal. So we're going to game three. Go on into game three and bringing in two thoughts 
offseason. Hopefully, we can hit their graveyard hate before they hit us. And with that, let's go to game three. Oh boy, this hand's so good. But surgical. Ah, oh, whatever. We'll keep it. Start off with looting, dumping Vengevine and Crawler, and pass back. What? They don't play a land, so they must have like five surgicals in hand. Oh, come on. Well, we'll cast Grave Crawler. Where them surgicals at? Oh, there's one. So much for that. Back for opponent. And look, they hit a land. Graph Digger. Okay. So here's what we'll do. Swing for three. Play Feeder. Attacking this, hoping to hit a bridge. Nope. And then might as well play the altar. Back your opponent. Ooze. And there is a bridge. Meh. Whatever. Swing with both and pass back. They pass back to us. And nice. So we'll play it. Hooray. Now back to our opponent. Aww. Up yours, ho bag. We'll sack it bridge and graveyard. But this thing's a problem. Ooh. In that case, let's we'll sack the grave crawler. Come on, make token. Oh my god. They have another surgical. No. Just just stop. Jeez. All right, whatever. Sack this guy. But like, ah, oh man, this is very frustrating. They're not even doing anything. All they pull is graveyard. Like every single card they pulled is graveyard. Hey, except for Assassin's Trophy and lands. Whatever. Swing for two. Back to our opponent. Start confident. They swing. Well, they was looting. And no matter what we do, the Ooze can just gain life from our graveyard. We'll just put ourselves out of our misery. Oh my God. But I guess we can't always get lucky. Open hand's not that terrible, but we have no way of discarding this. So we're in a mole. Yeah, it's better. Starting off with faith is looting dumping this and this now let's see what our opponent's got looks like it's tron and ooh nice bridge so we shall do this neonate sack supplier grave color and venge vines we're looking really good now but they'll hit tron next turn they do want to play it relatively safe we'll play one feeder sacking the supplier getting back the grave crawler triggering the venge vine swing for eight and we'll see how good of a hand our opponent has worm coil engine okay that ain't gonna cut it though once he sees what's coming sack venge sack grave crawler and we'll even sack this and here's what we'll do feeder grave crawler and then they concede even if they did block we sacrifice whatever creature they block so that lifelink doesn't go through so hooray for us got one in the game too and i'll dump all this for all this and with that let's go to game two opening hand looks very good like very good so we'll keep it craft digger's cage okay we'll have to find a way to deal with that thought sees well they already have tron that's no bueno but we'll pass back ballista that's pretty smart in case we get the bridges and we shall face looting ass trophy nice so for now we'll just play the grave crawler and pass back there's a counter on that swings at us for two we take two and then back on our turn. Attempt to swing for two, but then pass back Assassin's Trophy on that at the end of our opponent's turn. Ten mana. They swing for two. Pumps it as a map, grabbing Sanctum of Ugin. End of turn. It's tempting which one to hit. I suppose it's gotta be the cage, but now they can pump this again. Back on our turn. This is gonna be a long shot, but let's faith is looting. Nope, we whiff. I was hoping for Hajmala. Now he just can't really win. Because next thing they can push lethal if we don't block. Yep, unfortunately they got us. I rolled the dice and the dice rolled us. Wah, wah. Going into game three since we're on the play. I'm gonna bring in two nature's claims and dump these two. And with that, let's go to game three. Opening hand, nope, mole. And this we can keep. Starting off with thought sees. Well, we have a bit of a problem, but for now, let's take surgical, even though they still have relic in hand. And back to our opponent. Opponent goes to chromatic sphere and passes back. Tough position. I suppose the right move. Neonate, sacking it to grave crawler and feeder. Yeah, we'll play it. Try and ramp into this guy. And then pass back. Opponent plays the cage. All right. Luckily, we still have this big boy in hand, even though we can't really play it. So for now, just swing for one and pass back. And a relic. This is not not looking good. Let's see how clever our opponent is. Supplier. They better fire this now. They're thinking. They're thinking, what are the odds we need to fire this right now? Yep, they fire it. But we still have a chance here. Swing for one. Pass back. They search for land. Play the map. And then passes back. Dang, I really want to sack this, but we need at least two creatures for convoke. So instead, we'll swing for two. Play the altar. And pass back. My opponent fires the map. Plays ballista. That's a problem. And then passes back to us. Well, this is most unpleasant. Swing for two. And back to them. They play Karn. So I think they got it. Us. It hits down 12, and yeah, we just, we just can't do anything. This is frustrating. Do it, Karn. Back to our opponent. Opponent forces exile. And plays a relic. Okay, well, it seems like everyone brought the graveyard hate to work today. While we're losing miserably, we can reflect on this deck. Will this deck break modern? Despite its good results in that one tournament, the deck is very inconsistent and very susceptible to graveyard hate. And I think when the new London Mulligan rule comes into effect, the rule will likely do more to hurt Vengevine than help it, simply because it's so easy to find your graveyard hate when mulling this stuff Seven cards each time. I will say the deck is interesting, and Hajmala is very, very terrifying. But the deck just doesn't have a plan B. If our graveyard gets shut off, the whole deck just queefs on itself. So modern appears to be safe, and we can all move on with our lives, at least for now, because I'll try and see what else we can do with Hawala. But that is all for now. Thanks again to you guys who were able to buy one of my deck boxes before they sold out. And because of that, I am able to take time off sucking dick for a living to make more videos. So be sure to subscribe, because there will be a lot of videos coming your way. But that is all for now, and as always, I hope you have a great day.